Hello, everybody! Hello, Ski. We're going to be playing Pampers, please, for just a little bit. You guys um, also let us know if you can hear us and if you can hear Papers, Please. These are the two important things to hear. If you're play, play this for a little bit, let, let everyone show up, want to show up, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna XCOM this joint, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna XCOM the hell out of this joint. Hi, 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 and everybody also, sounds great, great, audio sounds good. Everybody welcome our new moderator, OctoJ. Wait, Ooh. you're telling me there's no technical problems? Shut up, Jay. <laughs> I refuse to believe this. Oh my god, everything just went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, until, I'm sorry, that my introduction of our new moderator got rudely interrupted by Jay. No, you said it, and then, I, and then I made a joke afterwards. Oh, you're right. I didn't interrupt you in the middle of saying who it was. You're right. I was going to go, I had a, I you, had a whole thing. You robbed him, oh, oh, you yeah. robbed him of his glory I was by gonna have a changing the topic All immediately. Right. Well, I apologize to you, and I apologize to Octo OJ. Uh, say your piece. Oh no, it's done now. I mean, you said you had a thing. You ruined it now. All right. <laughs> Start again. Re no, by the way, reintroduce. My, the thing. my whole thing was Jay ruining it. So. Oh okay. <laughs> so then I succeeded uh, exactly as planned. Exactly. All right. Uh, so yeah, I don't we're. Know what's happening? Rich is just gonna play a little papers, please. Uh, before we get into XCOM. Yeah, I don't need the stupid book. Fuck that. Uh, you know it all. I tried to play it not, not on day one. Day one, I got this down. I tried to play it the other day, and someone uh, sent me a link to a cheat sheet that I kept up on another you monitor. Sure. What's the fun if you're cheating? Uh, to win. I would have won. I didn't, though, because I was having but a weird winning problem. isn't I'm on, fine if it's as the result of cheating. I'm on, I'm on day, like, 22 or 23 with 70 or more dollars oh, nice. in my bank account. Nice. The, well, it's it's not a cheat sheet. What it is 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 it's part of you know you get a little manual that you can put up on your desk. Um, Deny. And what it is is just part pieces of the manual that I could put up on a separate screen. So it's not really cheating. It's just giving me more screen space. It's just very um, much cheating. It's, it's just it's just not cheating. It's just cheating. It's just kind of cheating. <laughs> no, because the whole thing with the book is you're supposed to look through the book and it's kind of awkward. Oh, someone says, please comment on Ascension Millennium by Corey Feldman. You mean the best music video ever? The best song slash music video Every time ever? I watch that video, I discover something new. <laughs> we were obsessed with that several months ago. We watched we it. I showed it to everybody the night we filmed The Best of the Worst, where we were dragging the tape behind the car. Oh, yeah. Remember we did that, and then we came back here, and we were watching stupid crap on YouTube. And we brought up the Ascension Millennium video and watched it, I think, multiple times. Oh, hey, we just got a new subscriber. Frosty Snooze. Thank you for subscribing. We appreciate that. He likes watching me haphazardly play Papers, Please. I, I like watching you play Papers, Please. This game is so... Is, is a ridiculous amount of fun for a paperwork simulator. <laughs> Move in the this, microphone. This first day is easy. Okay. I, I breeze the, I get as much money as I can this first day. East, must East, yeah, that's right. You know. <laughs> Sir, no! Come back! <laughs> also, you know what might be our, our like ease of streaming tonight is we are streaming, we're playing the game on Rich's computer, which is an actual PC, unlike normally we play on my Mac, which just has Windows running on the Mac. Mm. So maybe that, maybe that causes problems. I don't know. It's nice. It's nice. Oh my god, Sean WJF just subscribed as well. Everyone loves papers, please. <laughs> <laughs> Sub hype for papers, please. Papers, please is Rich, the key to all Rich this. is getting through this so fast, man. <laughs> no. Also, thank you, Octo J, for um, for uh, uh, updating me on subscribers as well. I'm watching your feed. Oh my god. Gobbledygook, just subscribe. <laughs> keep keep track of these names because we play XCOM. Well, we'll tell they're them. They're gonna be they're gonna be people. We'll tell them to be the XCOM. Gobbledygook, thanks for coming aboard. Where do people come up with these screen names? Go that's a good question. Some of them are so fun, so goofy. I always just do something related to my name. Sure. I guess I'm just boring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, is that noob hacks? <laughs> Noob Hacks just subscribed. <laughs> Thank you. What's Sub hype. subscribers. I don't know. People happy to see us. <laughs> um, 
I don't know. Yeah, I'm kind of locked into a, a like a screen name now. Yeah, Harlack. Where did that come from? Anyway? Wait, I'm, I'm a jerk. Okay, I have plenty of money. Yeah. Fuck your heat. You're gonna fuck, fuck your family's your heat. Why not? Uh, why not? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like my family very much. <laughs> um, the thing you should know about me is I've been... Uh, my wife and I have been together for a very long time. We were, in fact, uh, we were living with each other when email started becoming a thing. <laughs> That's how long wow. my wife and I have been together. <laughs> and so I was un... When email was first becoming a thing, I was unsure how it was. I thought that we would share an email address. Oh, okay. I didn't know that everyone got their own specific email address. <laughs> and so one of the very first... Email addresses were limited back then. I, I don't know. the start of the internet. There weren't as many email addresses available as there are now. And so uh, her nickname was Harl. Uh, oh, okay. Named after Harley Quinn, the, the, the Batman villain. I see. And so Harl and Jack. Harlack. Now it all makes sense. And it just kind of stuck with me. Okay. So that's where that nickname comes from. And that's where I got mine. That's my story, everybody. That's great. This is great already. We're telling stories already. (laughs) (laughs) Fantastic story it is. Mm -hmm. But now I know, and I never have to ask that again. That's true. That's true. Until I forget. (laughs) Which I probably will at some point. (laughs) You probably will. Probably. Uh, Hey, Moonfront. Thank you for subscribing. We appreciate you coming out. (laughs) <laughs> one at email.com <laughs> I don't think that's how it works hmm. what was the first email address does anybody know well there'd have to be two first right one one to send and one to receive okay well the first one created then before there was a receiver oh my god just the very first email address ever created someone it look it like up a test or something I bet there there has to be one right what was that that's a good Oh, yeah. Uh, Just like there's, you can find the first YouTube video. There has to be a first email address, right? I think so. For anyone uh, wondering also, Rich is playing. Rich is playing papers, please. Rich is going to be playing all night. Well, you know, I didn't play it all last time, so it, it balances. That's true. Oh, Jack confirmed for Mormon because he settled down so young. <laughs> Is that how it works? I've, I, I've, been, I've been with my wife since high school. High school sweethearts. Aww. Aww. We, we weren't sweethearts, but I've been with my fiance. I've, well, I've, I've known my fiance since high school. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. And I just, you know, you find, you find the right person. It's like, all right, this is how it's going to happen. Oh, Rich, everyone's cold. That's fine. Turn your heat back on. <laughs> I'm turning the food off now. <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah. You cannot give them food? I, I've never experimented with this before. I'm going to try and save money this time uh-huh. by, like, denying things. And that way, when times are tough, I'll have the extra bit. Oh, my God. It's a strategy that I'm just trying for the first time. I officially love it. Well, there's a link to an article about firsts of Internet things. Oh. Well, there you go. Thank you. Uh, confirmed for Jay. Thanks for subscribing. Oh, my God. And Mr. Kevin. Thank you for subscribing. Everyone's subscribing, and everybody's cold. <laughs> everybody's cold, and people are going to be hungry. <laughs> First email was sent in 1971. Shut up. Yeah. Sh- <laughs> Who it doesn't was it? say what the email address was. Is it, st- is it a, an email address that's still around? That's oh, my question. I, I, I doubt it. It doesn't okay. say, but... Okay. First domain server. Oh, yeah, there's all sorts of information here. Oh. First picture ever uploaded. Is that it? It's a bunch of ladies. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> That's really funny. Thank you to whoever sent us that link. Uh. Shit, 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 shit. First item sold on eBay was a broken laser pointer. Really? In 1995. Nice. Oh, this is great. <laughs> I'm going to bookmark this and read the whole thing later. <laughs> Data's good. Everything else is good. She checks. Slept through. <laughs> Someone is asking, what was the first sext ever? Well, I know that. I sent it. <laughs> I sent it to Rich, in fact. He has still yet to reply. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is no. Excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> Hmm. <sighs> oh, nope. 
Uh, oh, someone is asking me to talk about the Mario Kart 8 Mercedes-Benz and newly announced Link DLC. Uh, Mercedes-Benz DLC we knew about for a while. Just it's it's a core. It's actually a weird corporate tie-in where you can get some Mercedes-Benz carts. And I'm not excited about that because I think they look really ugly. I'm, I'm assuming you're excited about Link and extra character Tanuki Suit Mario. I don't give I don't give a fuck about Tanuki Suit Mario or extra characters. Extra courses, we get something like like two extra Grand Prix. So we're gonna get extra courses. We're gonna get extra carts, extra characters. I'm excited about the extra courses. I don't care about having Link in Mario Kart. Who cares? what they look like. I just want that racing, yo. <laughs> Did I hear something about a Nuki suit in Mario Kart? A tiny Nuki. Nuki suit. Oh, who cares then? I want to see Mario dressed as Nuki. <laughs> oh, speaking of, guys, we could use a couple more copies of Nuki. <laughs> We're almost there. <laughs> on, on VHS. If we get a couple more, then we can... Do our Nuki plan. <laughs> then we can finally fulfill the 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 suicide pact. <laughs> yes. And the Nuki suicide pact. Yeah. Apathetic one. And you are right. The the Mercedes Benz DLC is going to be free, and so we like we'll get a couple extra carts, and they'll look like Mercedes Benzes. But I think they look really ugly because they look like just normal cars. And that's part of the fun of Mario Kart is you get these bright, colorful characters and cars. And I'm really good at paperwork. I love it. <laughs> Passport? Oh, this fuck. I love him! <laughs> what do I need? What's going on? He comes in with a passport made out of crayon for the later. <laughs> He's great! <laughs> Ooh, someone asked if we're gonna make an entire suit made out of Nuki VHSs. A Nuki? Like, uh, where it's the Nuki character made um, we're, out of we're, Nuki We're gonna boxes? get some guy called Mario to wear it. <laughs> Ooh, I like it. <laughs> It's my two Nuki suits. Oh, wait, that picture didn't match, did it? Oh, well. Wait, we're gonna have two Nuki suits? Oh, it's a Nuki suit made out of two copies of Nuki. It's I a know. two Nuki suit. Oh, I thought we were just gonna have two costumes, two Nuki costumes. I like that, too. I like that, too. You like that, too, Nuki? I like <laughs> Oh, Jay, did you hear that Samurai Cop is alive? Uh, he is? That, uh, someone just said it in the stream. Shit, we should get on that. <laughs> We should look into this. Yeah, I, I think you're right. Well, I guess yeah, the cat's out of the bag now. We posted that teaser so people know that we, people we know. Had, did an interview with him. Mm -hmm. um, I was jumping on that shit from day one. I think I saw that video, that announcement video, <clears throat> that he's still alive where he's got his shirt off. I saw that when it was still in the single digits. Yeah. I just happened to uh, be in the right place at the right time. I was so excited. <laughs> That's what we were talking about, like, about how people found that. Mm -hmm. Because he posted the YouTube video, and he is not involved with the so social media at no, all. No, his, his daughter. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> Rich is failing at paperwork. <laughs> but it still spread like wildfire, and so my guess is that there was someone who subscribed to his daughter's YouTube channel. There were no, there was nothing on it. It was created just to upload that video. She upload, she created the YouTube channel just to post that video. So then there must have been someone who had a Google alert for Matt Hannon slash Samurai Cop. Well, I don't think it blew up immediately. <laughs> it was he posted it on the IMDb message board. That's where he was communicating with people, oh. and so some people saw it there. And sure. I just happened to be because I've been monitoring that because he was making posts. I was like, Is this really him? <laughs> And so I was paying attention to that. Oh, that's um, right, because he started coming on saying that he was alive. Yeah, after everyone and then people were like, dead. prove it, make a video, prove it. So he oh, finally did. Okay. And I just happened to be looking at the message board right around the same time he posted that. Oh. Um, but I think it, that, I think it's IMDb that led to it blowing up. Okay. okay. I, I don't even know if it blew up, but it got a few hundred thousand, or a few thousand views. Mm -hmm. And then he deleted it. And then... He posted it again, and then he deleted that, and now he's posted it again, but he says he's going to take it down in September. So I don't know what he's doing. He keeps posting it and deleting it. But... Yeah, let him. It's YouTube. Just leave it up. Just leave it up. Leave it up for all time. <laughs> all right. When do we want to switch to XCOM? We just keep... Uh, maybe, uh, your your family is hungry, and your son is sick, so, you well, know. They, they get... They get... Oh, okay. Well, I pushed it too far because someone did get sick. Yeah. But... 
you know, it was a strategy. Yeah, keep I got, going. I got 80 bucks. We're talking about uh, Samurai Cup, so keep going for a little bit. All right, all right. <laughs> Well, we don't want to talk about him too much. No, not too no, much. We don't want to give too much away before the interview is posted. That's true. You know what? That's true. Other than he was a very nice guy. Yes. I like. I keep worrying that after Len and Matt now, we're going to get too comfortable <laughs> and think that just everyone we have is going to be super nice. <laughs> and then one day, like, Frank Stallone is going to come here and be a total dick. That would be great, though. <laughs> Not if anyone was a dick, but if it was Frank Stallone and he was a dick, that would be perfect. I would be okay with that. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> when is it? When is it? When is what getting posted? That's a. I mean, that's my question. If oh, we're not posting the Samurai Cop interview. That's just for us. <laughs> Oh yeah, did you guys want that online? No, no, it's <laughs> We weren't e we didn't even have cameras. We just we just talked to him. We just shot that teaser. Yeah. That would actually be really funny to post a teaser for something that never the video. That would be terrible. We may lose everybody at that point. <laughs> yes. I would think it's funny though. <laughs> uh yeah, I agree, that's fine. Let's see here. The Plain Dangerous Kid. Oh, that would be a good one. Find out what that kid's up to. Oh my god, that would be great. That twerp. That's a great idea. Someone figure out where he is. <laughs> Do our legwork for us. <laughs> we're, you, know what, we're, you know what we're doing there? We're crowdsourcing it. Okay. That's the, we're that's crowdsourcing the, the, the Plain Dangerous Kid. We're crowdsourcing our, um, what do you call a person who books people? A booker? A, a booking agent? A, yeah, we're crowdsourcing our booking agent. Okay. <laughs> I always wonder, it's possible he's seen our episode. Sure, it's whoever possible. he is. Someone that he knows that knew that he was in that movie yeah. that happens to see our videos and sends him a link. Sure. That's that's what happened with uh, Tales from Genesis Space with uh, What's yeah, His Face? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that guy. Who, ironically, was also a karate master. Oh, yes. <laughs> much like much like. Did he Len. say he had six black belts or something weird? I think he was like six degrees. Six degrees? Is that yeah. even a thing? Yes. Well, what what happens is once you get to black belt, yeah. every degree you have of black belt, you can only test for degrees after a year. Mm. And so what that means is after you get a black belt, which takes a couple of years, every degree after that equals the amount of years at least okay. that you've been training. Okay. I thought it was just some bullshit he made up. No, it's a real thing. I'm a super mega black belt. So that's a real thing. <laughs> see, Jack, I got, a, I got a coin, Jack. Oh, my God. I let a woman in to see her son, even though her paperwork didn't match. Oh, so you got a citation, but a coin. Yep. What's the coin worth? Um... More than yeah, yeah, you did it. It's a collectible kind of thing. Oh, the okay. kid from Plain Dangerous is the same in one and two. Child Bride. It's the same kid. Mm -hmm. Also in Ice Cream. Also in Ice Cream Man with uh, Clint Howard. Yeah. <laughs> Ironically enough. Oh, someone says uh, you should get Adam Sandler as a guest. Oh God. I just don't. Something tells me I he would not return our calls. I don't think that would happen. No. We have a slight in. Because, oh, yeah, yeah. Because I know someone who is in Blended. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Step Brothers. Oh, wait, that's not Adam Sandler. That's not Adam Sandler. I, I know someone who's... <laughs> Confusing my, my big dumb comedies. I know the actress who played Kevin Nealon's wife in Blended. Who's that? Huh? Who is she? Oh, she's just someone I, I knew from way back in the day. She went to, she went to college with uh, my cousin Jake. Oh, okay. Lauren. Something. Has she done anything else? She's an actress. I think like she's been. She's had smaller work, like commercial work. Um, not oh, okay. Lauren. What's her name? <laughs> I know. Sounds her. like you guys are really close. We. I could. I could meet her and be like, "Hey, you remember me?" And she'd be like, "Maybe." <laughs> what is her name? He, here's the real thing that bothers me. I just said her name the other day. <laughs> oh well. What the fuck? Whatever the fuck. Are you gonna approve him? No. Okay. <laughs> You get a coin for it. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, he'd give you a coin? If you wait... Oh, no, the, the collectible. If you wait long enough, eventually he has good enough forgeries to pass anyway. Oh, okay. And then you let him through without getting the citation. That's really funny. Um, here, here's what I'm going to... Pi 460, I don't want to get Randy Quaid on the show. <laughs> 
I don't. Something tells me he wouldn't get, come on the show. No, something tells He's me he would, would come on the show, and that's just so we could talk about the Hollywood Star Whackers. Yes. Yeah. Is he still on the run, or did I that get resolved? I quit paying attention after a while. Who cares about Randy Quaid? That's sort of sad. He was a, an interesting actor. He was in some good stuff. He was funny. Sure. I love him in Kingpin. Yeah. <laughs> and I was never sure in Kingpin if he was supposed to be... His character was supposed to be a little kid, but the joke was that he was Randy Quaid. Because they treat him throughout the whole movie like he's a little kid. And I was never sure if that was just a joke that they treat him like a kid, or if he was supposed to be a kid. You know what? I was never sure. I've never thought of it that way before. <laughs> I just thought he was an idiot. <laughs> it's never... It's never... Uh, I, I, to me that I always thought it. just an idiot. Just a, Okay. Yeah, I think he was just they supposed was to be a man-child. Like yeah. All right. That makes sense, but there were parts of the movie where I thought it was questionable. <laughs> it, when he went to the strip bar with everyone? He went to a titty bar at some point, right? He starts working at one for extra money. I, I think that's evidence in favor of Manchild. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Jessica Lowe, thank you. That's her name. Thank you for looking that up. I know, yeah. <laughs> there was once a time in which I knew Jessica Lowe. Okay. So uh, all I'm saying is there is no possible way I could get in hold, uh, get a hold of Adam Sandler. <laughs> <laughs> No, it was just weird seeing her in the in the trailer. Oh, the trailer. fuck. Oh, yeah. And so it was just like, I know her. <laughs> you know, she she did. Um, did you ever see the movie? Blended? <laughs> no. God. Why not? Why would I? I should just because her. No, she was uh, in a sketch comedy group at in uh, in college in Chicago. And I helped out on some of the shoots for the sketch comedy group. Oh, okay. Because my cousin also like shot stuff and wrote stuff for it, and so I met her there. So she's been doing comedy for a while, yeah. and it was just weird seeing her up on the big screen. Sure. Not name dropping, obviously not name dropping, uh, because I didn't remember her name. <laughs> so. <laughs> my name was changed recently. Yeah, name just doesn't match. Is that a real thing? Apparently it is. Wait. Well, you didn't get his thumbprint. Well, no, I'm checking the name. Oh, okay. He's got alias. He's got he's got an alias. Oh, okay. So That's it's... official. Oh, okay. And the fingerprints look like they match. I'll double check. Time's up anyway. Imagine All right, he's Great. he's just a weirdo who changed his name. I'm sure people change their name all the time, Rich. That doesn't necessarily make it. Hey, this guy's a weirdo. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> you're right. No, you're absolutely right. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're right, and you're absolutely right. Who's Josh Dumal? That name sounds familiar. Oh, he's in all the Transformers <laughs> movies. That doesn't mean much. He's he's a military yeah, he's guy. He's the military guy. Boring military guy that no, for some reason is in all three. You know what show I watched a little bit and did not immediately hate was Vegas? I don't know what that is. Oh, wait, isn't James Caan on that? Yeah. Is that a show? Okay. It, it's like a show where he played like the head of security at a Vegas resort. Yeah, I think I saw an episode or two it's of that. Fun. I enjoy procedurals. Mm. I, en I enjoy detective procedurals. And was Who else was on that show? Jessica... No. Beale? I was going to say Jessica Beale. Mm. And I immediately retract that because okay. I don't believe that was her. It was it was James Dumal, James Kahn. Josh Dumal. Josh Dumal, James Kahn. Some black guy. And and like three attractive ladies. Okay. Is that that show's not still on? Is I can't it? imagine. It's Why were you watching it? It was just I, I at one point not recently. Oh, I think even recently. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think that show lasted a season. <laughs> Maybe well, a I think season. it was on a couple seasons. Okay. I remember. I remember a cliffhanger, and I think it was just on at the time. And okay, you know. <laughs> See, well, you sometimes you watch stupid shows, Jay. <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, uh, apathetic one says I just started watching Twin Peaks. It's pretty decent so far. It's uh, yeah. Yeah, keep keep watching. Keep watching. Halfway through second season, you're gonna want to give up, but don't. Yeah. Because it does get better again. In fact, m most way through the second season, you're gonna want to give up. 
But don't. Don't give Here, up. Here's the thing. When you're watching the second season, anytime there's a scene with James, just fast forward through it. <laughs> he has a running subplot throughout the second season that goes nowhere and is boring and horrible. Yes, that's really true. But it picks up towards the end, and the last episode is, is great. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's James Leisure as some black guy. <laughs> is that what he's credited as? Yeah. The black guy? Okay. James Leisure is his name. I, I liked him in it. I didn't know who he was. <laughs> mm -hmm. Jack can't remember black people's names and women's names. It's true! I, but to be fair, I couldn't remember James Dumont's name either. You still can. It's Josh Dumont. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking remember names. I guess that means you hate white people, too. It's true. Yeah. It, no, you know what it means? I don't remember shit. Yeah. I don't remember things. Well, that's that's how uninteresting Josh Duvall is. You know? Oh, fuck. Are you fucking up paperwork again? Yeah. I just, you know, I'm really bad at names. Sure. I'm not that kind of person that can, like... <laughs> can remember words? I can remember words in strings. That's all names are, words. No, they're weird words, though. That's true. Words hold meanings. Names mean nothing. <laughs> Josh There's Duvall. There's a meaning behind names. Eh, fuck. <laughs> fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. <laughs> does, does my mean, name mean nothing to you? Absolutely nothing? You're, no, it does not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> your, your name means dick to me. Hey! Well, yay! I guess. That's clever! That's, that's, that's a, clever. I was, pretty, I was pretty happy with that joke. I mean... <laughs> What? Twin Peaks, big... Oh, big yawner! You're wrong! You're a yawner. Oh, Twin Peaks is great. Mostly. You're right. What's good about it is so good <laughs> that you kind of forgive how bad it gets in the second season. It got so bad. It starts great. The second season, up until the big reveal, is pretty great. And then it really takes a nosedive for a good six, seven, eight episodes. I don't even... It's been a while since I've watched it. I don't remember how long it goes on before Wendy Merle shows up. And then it starts to get good again. Yeah. But, I mean, the, the entirety, like... So there there was, like, the B story of about James. Oh, God. Which was a beyond a clusterfuck. Yeah. And then... Uh, that was just... What do we do with this character? <laughs> it's like, why is this character in this? Yeah, he was always my least favorite character, even when the show was good. Yep. Yeah. And then Detective Cooper, Agent Cooper, uh, gets uh, removed from the FBI. Oh, and yeah. That's an entire load of bullshit, too. Yeah. It's basically once, because it was never intended to wrap up the Who Killed Laura Palmer storyline. Right. So they, the, the network kind of forced them to do that. And they're like, well, now what do we do? And it's just them scrambling to come up with ideas. Yeah. And David Lynch wasn't around to keep everything on track. So mm -hmm. I think he was making Wild at Heart at that point. Oh, okay. Um, so, yeah, it was just, just like a bunch of chickens running around with their heads cut off. <laughs> yeah. That's the great thing about the final episode is David Lynch comes back to direct it and he like immediately writes everything. <laughs> yes. Oh, and wait, what'd you do to Nadine? Fuck <laughs> that. <laughs> it's and it, it's such a harsh turn when he comes back. You mm -hmm. you can see immediately him writing just yeah. No, nope. the like first half of that episode is him writing everything that they spent the last several episodes fucking up. Yep. <laughs> but just like it's it's also a very clear like indicator of his directorial style. Yeah. Just because it is drastically different. Mm -hmm. It's nice. <laughs> Look what oh, you did. Oh, God. You're, you're ruining everything. Well, I'm, I'm doing this half-ass. <laughs> <laughs> I got about a third ass into this. Who's saying Wild at Heart is a shit movie? You're glad I disagree. <laughs> Wild, at Heart, Wild at Heart is great. <laughs> Have you ever seen that, Wild at Heart? No, I don't much care for David Lynch. Oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> that's the way he is. He's polarizing. I, I get what Either, he's doing. Yeah, it, that's the thing. It's like people say, oh, you don't like him, you don't get him. Like, you can get it and just not like it. Right. And I, I, I'm fine with that. I love him. And that's fine. That's fine. It's, it's almost as if we have different things that we enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> I do really love Wild at Heart. Willem Dafoe in that movie is so amazing. But you have to like certain things. But you have to like certain things, right. That's, you know what, that's true. 
Just like there are certain things you have to d dislike. You yes. have to? Yeah, you're obligated. <laughs> you, you can't have your own opinion on things. What do you think this is? That's true. That's true. <laughs> Usu I usually stick with like whatever opinion uh, is really popular at the moment. I try to do the opposite of that. Oh, yeah. That Until the opposite opinion becomes popular. Then you go right back to the first one. <laughs> and it always has to be an extreme opinion. Either extreme love or extreme hate. Preferably. There's there's no gray area. <laughs> I was just going to say, what what do you mean? There's no other thing. <laughs> Everything is the best it's ever been, or the worst <laughs> in the world. <laughs> That's the internet. You just summed up the internet. Yeah. yeah. Well, hack or fraud, I'm glad that me reading your comment is the high point of your life. Oh no! How sad. <laughs> but I mean, what you should probably do is is just you know go out in the world, man. Just do something, anything. Go a nice a hike. walk. Yeah. A, a nice hike. A nice hike. If the weather is even halfway decent. Yeah. Ooh. That's right. I'm a pro hipster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, Draco. Just subscribed. Thank you for subscribing. We appreciate it. Should I have a, an obnoxious song to play every time somebody subscribes? <laughs> I worked. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. No, you know what I tried to do? I, I pulled a, an audio clip of you saying, What the fuck? <laughs> uh, and I got a little program for Open Broadcaster that every time someone subscribed, that would play. Mm -hmm. uh, but it broke my computer one day. <laughs> Rich's voice broke your computer? Maybe it was Rich's voice. I didn't try any other audio thing. No, it broke the stream one day when I tried to do it, so mm -hmm. I, I gave up on it. Okay, okay. I'm sure it would work. Um, oh, someone says, yo, Rich. Yo! What, what is the worst comic you've ever read? Uh, I, I, that's... Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't think about it. <laughs> Anything involving the Spider-Man clone saga. Nice. They clone Spider-Man? Oh, my God. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> they destroyed Spider-Man... Yeah. Not only did they clone him, they like cloned his clones. And oh. then there wasn't a Spider-Man for a while, but then it was the real Spider-Man, but then it wasn't. It was um, a whole thing. Well, so it was comic books. books. Yes. Also, That's the shit that happens. Also <laughs> the deal with the devil to end his marriage. <laughs> oh my god, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yikes. Mm. Yeah, that, that, I'm not fond of that. <laughs> Alright, well I know she's good because she's kind of in one of those things. So you know she's good? The, every, it's like in the program. Everyone that gives you one of these, it's part of a, like a plot thing that happened. Oh, they're she, all they're they're all good to go. Wait, she gave you a thing. Yeah, that was the. You went through this. You know, oh, there, there, oh, I didn't know if it was different every time. No, it, it should be. It should be. It, the, it, it makes the, the the events really easy to get through because you know what happens. Oh, oh, no, well, that that makes me like this game a little less. A little less. Yeah, I, I agree with that statement. Actually, but but I mean, lack of replayability is not a top priority for me for games. I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. That was an I, I just said the thing I wanted to say exactly opposite. <laughs> Strike that, reverse it. Replayability is not my top priority with games. Uh -oh. It's an added bonus if you can replay a game, but it's not super necessary. Oh, I saw someone asking about... They're asking me to explain the Monkey Man shorts, but I think that's more your area, Rich. That's more Mike. Mike, <laughs> Mike that's true. Mike putting me in a costume and saying, Do, do things! <laughs> <laughs> do things! Be funny! <laughs> but, I mean, as an actor, what was your motivation? <laughs> <laughs> I, ho I hope I can stop doing this soon. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best motivation. <laughs> That's really funny. By the way, no, I, did, I never said I hated Guardians of the Galaxy stream. Did you say you didn't think it was amazing? I said if I you had... said anything less than amazing, then that means you hated it. Oh, this is true. That's where we're, right. we're back there again. Now we're back there again. Yeah. I, I said I had some problems with it, but overall, it's a very enjoyable movie. Yeah. But I had some problems with it, and I also thought it interesting that Rich and I have very similar opinions yeah. on it thinking that there are more problems, and we're comic book people, and, and you and Mike seem to enjoy it more, and you're movie people. That's true. And I thought that was an interesting thing. I, yeah, I mean, I just watched it as a movie. Right. And so it's fine. Everything's fine. I think the one of my favorite things about Guardian is the giant floating skull. 
in space. Oh, yeah, that planet. That planet that is just a hollow skull. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was great. That was beautiful. The whole movie, the you know, design of everything you know, is really you interesting. Know, yeah. Lots of variety to stuff. You know what I've read that is, Jack? What? Celestial. A celestial? Yeah, you know what the celestials are? Oh, well. You know, there's... <laughs> no, you know what? I never got into the Marvel space stuff. There's okay. a whole Marvel space universe that just can go fuck itself. I, I don't care. I just want mutants. <laughs> I want mutants and spiders, mans. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to play Five Nights at Freddy. I'm sorry. Which one is that again? That's the that's the one that's like the showbiz pizza bear horror oh, game. Oh, that's right. And I saw someone sent me like their playthrough of it. Yeah. And as soon as they started playing it, I knew exactly what the big scary twist was supposed to be, mm. and it was and it was that thing, and it okay. was like. I don't, Rich, what do you feel about scary games? How do you I, feel I, about scary I games? I don't like them. I've never been fond of horror in general. Mm -hmm. I mean, horror games, horror movies, I'm, I'm just not my thing. Okay. Just click on the right thing, you stupid thing. No. <laughs> um, I know, I, I, I get it, though, because the show is Pizza Bear. Yeah. I guess. So I have to play it now because of Showbiz Pizza Bear. Yes. And I, I, we might stream it at some point just to get everybody to shut up. But <laughs> <laughs> not, not tonight. Not tonight. And you know, I've just horror games to me have never been scary. I don't, I don't scare that easy. I guess. I, or it's just like I know what I can't disconnect. I know I'm playing a video game. Yeah. This cannot hurt me. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've I've gotten scared playing a video game before. You have. Yeah. Uh, wait. Let me see. I'm I'm, I'm checking the numbers now. And I'm not talking. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Which is kind of sad. That's it, okay. It's really sad. No. Uh, uh, like I've gotten scared when I've been playing FTL and my ship is about to blow up. But you know, that's, I'm, it's a real fail. I'm I'm a big fan of the the original Thief games. Okay. And uh, there's a story. Apparently, other people who've played the game the first time have had this experience. Uh, you, you play the f fuck this game. You play this game because <laughs> I, can't, I can't I can't do this and talk. Sure. You you play the game and the first the first mission is just a straightforward burglary and you sneak into this guy's mansion and you steal this this priceless thing and you get out and then you get the sex and sex second mission you're supposed to break into somebody out of prison. Mm -hmm. So you're going through these scary mines and there's these. These corpses on the ground, right? Mm -hmm. So you, you you come up by this elevator and you turn around the corner and one of the corpses pops up and and growls in your face. And I I, I immediately jumped out of my seat, <laughs> backpedaled in the game, just naturally. I, I hit the reverse button <laughs> and I fell down the elevator shaft where I was eaten by a giant spider at the bottom of the elevator shaft. Hilarious. Yes. That's really funny. And apparently this has happened to more than one person. Like, a long time ago, I was at, like, a thread on their forum. <laughs> this well, happened sure, to that me, was the and design, other people right? were like, yeah, that happened to me, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. I think that's funny. <laughs> Freudian slip. Sex mission. That's funny. Everyone heard it, too. Great. <laughs> great. What, did I have richism? Uh, yeah, yeah, when you're when you're saying the section, you, you kind of stuttered a little bit, so you said sex section, sex sex section. It was funny. It was you know funny. what? It was funny, and uh, I think everyone appreciated it. <laughs> appreciated it. it. <laughs> uh oh. We just got bombed. What? I just oh no! Bombed. Did you let him in? Did he have all his paperwork in order? I don't. Yeah. Well, that's that's like a scripted thing. Oh, okay. Something's gonna blow up that day. Oh, okay. I don't know. Is that confirmed that James Franco is playing Tommy Wiseau? I know he was producing wait, it. Wait, 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 wait. The... What is what is this? They uh, James Franco has a production company, and they optioned the book rights to the Disaster Artist, and that's been news for a while now. But now someone's saying that James Franco is playing Tommy Wiseau. That's a terrible idea. Which sounds awful. No one can play Tommy Wiseau but Tommy Wiseau. I have no interest in seeing someone Tommy do a Tommy Wiseau bad isn't a boring stoner. <laughs> he's a weird foreign man. Well, James Franco is at his best when he's playing weird characters. That's when he's, he's actually a pretty interesting actor, but I don't see him as Tommy Wiseau at all. I see it coming across as like, like a him. bad impression. But yeah, yeah, it doesn't look like he doesn't have the phys like, physical features you of it this in any way. large, almost hunchback 
ugly guy. You need Tommy Wiseau. You need Tommy Wiseau. If you're going to yes. do a movie about Tommy Wiseau and you cast him as himself and you would act horribly in it and it would be great. Like, that's what you want. Or, or that guy from Python 2. <laughs> Which nobody's seen yet, but they will soon. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Best of the worst, coming soon. Guest appearance by Tommy Wiseau. <laughs> But yeah, I don't want to see James Franco's Tommy Wiseau. I think that's a horrible idea. I hope that's not confirmed. Oh, someone is saying yes, it is confirmed. Uh, I, I knew that that he was uh, he owned the the movie rights to make it. Right. I didn't know he was playing Tommy Wiseau. I, I don't would, like I, that at all. I, that would be terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Any interest I had in that movie is now completely out the window. Just read the book instead. It's really good. Oh, hmm? uh, it's been confirmed for a while. People are saying that oh, sucks. That would be terrible. Stop trying to make Dave Franco happen. By the way, you're totally right. That that kid, I, I dislike looking at him. That's James Franco's little brother. Yeah, I don't think I've seen him. I think he's in Superbad for like a second. I don't think I've seen him in anything else. No, he he's like made this career. I'm I'm ready to start next com. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hold on, everybody. We gotta stop talking about Dave Franco. What are we doing here? Uh, let's take it. We're gonna take a quick commercial break and boot up. XCOM. We will be right back. I'm gonna, gonna be back. <laughs> 